I'll be fast. Uh, uh, it'll be about five minutes. My name is Ashley. I'm a junior developer at Tinkerbox. So I'm a Tech Ladies graduate. I belong to the. I graduated last December. So I spent six months interning at Tinkerbox, and then now this month I'm a confirmed as a junior developer. So. Uh, Okay, so as somebody very green in, uh, in uh, Ruby and Rails, I don't have many tips, but I do have tips for beginners. So, uh, wait, uh, something is missing. Okay, so, <laughs> so uh, one of the things, uh, I should have started with this one. So, okay, the, one of the things you, when you're a junior developer is that you get plugged in into the code base, and usually the ERD looks like this is like a nightmare for any, any beginner coder. So, what I did was I used uh, model cards. I actually wrote down the models on the cards, and then, to, so that I get a better grasp of the ERD. <laughs> so this is an example. Here you, you get the you get the model name, so you get all the all the table columns. So I could just quickly refer to them, and then you get associations here. And here is the database table uh, table, and then here you get the the path because I could never remember all these things when I'm, when I'm talking to senior developers. So it's like you know, when you're discussing them, you don't go back to the to the screen. So you know, just um, <coughs> To look through the database, the database schema again. So just we uh, grab on these cards and then you know just discuss them over like like playing cards like that. The bad thing about this is that it gets outdated in two weeks because the ERD changes again. So it's not recommended. I'm still refining this method. So another issue is uh, so when I was I was doing uh, code wars, we have daily code wars katas with my the developers in the group. So uh, when I was coding, I was starting like this. I learned C++ before, so this is the way I do. I do uh, for, for R equals to blah, blah, blah. This is the only way I know the code. And then I realized that all my colleagues are doing things like this. Wei Liang, this is your code, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so they're doing things like this. I'm like, wait a minute, why, are they, why, why is that code so short? And then this is another example. This is uh, Ted's code. He's not here today. So then I said, after a while, I figured it out. Okay, all you have to do is just put all the code in one line. <laughs> and you string all the methods together, all the innumerables together, and that's it. You'll look very Ruby-like. So this is one example I have. I, I'm sure you can see what's wrong with it. <laughs> so I said, okay, I got it all figured out. You just have to follow. So okay, then uh, the third thing I have to do is I have to speak the lingo. So, um, uh, I realized my colleagues uh, were, were speaking in very strange terms like expensive and cheap. Like, Wait a minute, um, are they talking about bags or something? I know it has to do with computer <laughs> operations. Whether it's cheap or expensive to, to run one algorithm and then the other. And another colleague of mine had a way of saying, I have a very naive way of doing this. I'm like, I don't use this expression. <laughs> this is not English to me. It's so, okay. Then uh, I have to deal with like exclamation marks being called bang. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then, um, I think the last one I heard was like refactoring. I heard this like five times before I actually <coughs> gathered the courage to ask, what is refactoring? <laughs> I don't know what refactoring is. So they say, okay, just, just you know, coding it to make it better again, okay. So um, you need to prepare to defend your code. Those code reviews, are <laughs> code reviews can be very brutal. So one thing I learned when I was pushing out my, <laughs> my pull request was that you better look through every line of code and then um, you better prepare an argument for every line. You need to defend, you need to go in with a PR review with a mentality that you need to prepare to defend. You could prepare all your arguments for every line. <laughs> so the next thing is like there's nothing better than to sit next to a senior developer or somebody who is more experienced than you because you just turn around and ask them, hey, what's going on? <laughs> so um, yes, that's it. That's the end. My five random tips for beginners. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.